Hello, welcome to this brief overview introduction to the awesome brand new Make Some Noise class and interactive presentation. I'm Matthew. I'm just going to show quickly what's going on in this crazy world that we call Make Some Noise or creative audio programming. Um, what you see here and what you'll see in the class if you take it is this crazy, awesome, weird application program called Pure Data or PD as a lot of people call it. Pure Data is a visual programming language, visual scripting language, primarily for multimedia like audio and visuals and all sorts of kind of creative endeavors. And what's really cool about it that lets people kind of learn it right away and get really deep with it is it's all visual. It's a uh, data flow language. Um, basically, what we see here is a pure data patch. You can think of that as your, you know, as your file, what you're, what you're creating. Um, and within that patch, you take different objects, and each object does a different thing. And you connect some objects to other objects, to so their inputs, to have them interface with each other and create different things. For example, one object right here, this one says OSC, which stands for oscillator, is constantly emitting sound at a certain frequency. And we're able to manipulate that and change the frequency or change how loud the, the oscillator happens by connecting all these different patch cables or cords together. Um, and what's really great about this um, over a language like you know C or Python, um, a typed language, is that it, it's very immediate. It allows you right away, even if you have no programming knowledge whatsoever, to make some really cool, crazy things. And that's what we're going to do. In the class, we're going to make something like you see here, which is kind of a randomized sound wave, sine wave generator. Okay. And let me just show you quickly how it works. First, I'm going to click this toggle object in green, and that's going to start making everything happen. Okay. Um, but we're not going to hear anything right away until I turn the volume up. These yellow sliders control the volume. I labeled them as such. So now we should hear one sound this sound is happening every 1000 milliseconds that's what this object does it's like a metronome it's emitting a, a click or a, what's called a bang in the pure data world every 1000 milliseconds which picks a random number through 10 we can see the numbers here and that random number is picking um, the index of a list of frequencies i have over here frequencies you can think of it as pitch and then those are going to the oscillator object which we already talked about and so, yeah, every one second, basically, a thousand milliseconds, we get a different frequency. Um, and it's cool because it's kind of random which, which note we pick, but it's still from a, a group of notes, these ones actually over here in this table, that uh, is predetermined. Let me bring in the other one now. This one happens every 750 milliseconds, so we get a cool kind of, sometimes they line up, sometimes they don't. And it's also picking from the same group. sound a little crazy but that's part of the fun <laughs> yeah this stuff can be pretty pretty wild pretty fast it's very cool um it's always good to have a volume control in case it gets too chaotic but yeah that's that's kind of a good overview of this kind of cool instrument or installation that we made using pure data and if you're interested in checking out learning more about this program and what we do you should check out the 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 class the make some noise class okay uh thank you for your time bye